All right, YouTube family, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Magic Seconds, the channel, as always, I'm your host, K-Pop Pops. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, B2B fans, we got a good one for you today. I'm going to do a review of the album, New Men. Let me tell you right from the back. B2B got it going on. So I like to say. So I'm going to go through the songs and then I'll go through as they are listed. I'll tell what I like about each one. And then at the end, I'll just tell you what my most favorite song is to my, well, my least favorite song to, to my most, my favorite song. I'm becoming a fan of B2B. Does B2B have a, what do they call their fan? Melody. Melody, all right. I am a melody. Because their song had the melody, the harmony, the, the bass, they had everything. All right, but ladies, not gonna talk any longer. We're gonna get right into it. Start with the first song, New Men. Album is New Men, so let's get it. That part right there. And I know that was Penny. Yeah, I knew that was, I can tell by his voice. He usually like to hear him sing, but I can know that was his voice in the beginning. Yes, listen to what the song is telling you. We're new men. That means, oh, okay. You know, this it's not the regular stuff that we used to do. We're doing something new. Okay. The only thing that I hated about this, it was too short. It was like an introduction. I don't even know if you can call it it's like an introduction and a mini song all in one. Because yeah. sometimes introductions are maybe 30, 40, 50 seconds at the most. It's like a minute and a half. So it's like a song, but then by the time you like, ooh, yeah, that's, that's it, <laughs> but, you know. But yeah, I mean, this is a hell of an introduction. I give you that. The, the vocals is going in. You got flow and an introduction and harmonization. Mic drop. That's all I can say. That's my part right there. The harmonization. Listen, I know B2B has a catalog, but when I heard this just from the introduction, I was like, oh, yes. This album is gonna be something. That's why I just had to throw my rankings out. I just, I just couldn't do it. It's just the song was just the whole album was just too much, too over the top, too much for me to process to try to, you know, bottle this down. This song is this score. Nope, 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 nope. Couldn't do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going right into the next song. I'll be your man. Opening piano sequence is so smooth. If you can hear my prayer, give me one last shot. Hear that violin and the piano. Now, this was my part right here. This build up. It's coming. And I didn't expect this from this because the opening sequence sounded like it was going to be a ballad. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know. I love balance, and I'm sure B2B does balance as well as the best of them. But then you get into the song, when you start hearing that percussive build up, and these other harmonization, that up tempo starts coming, you're like, oh, okay, this is something a little different. Let's flow. This, there was so much going on in each one of these songs that you have to listen. This is a song, a whole album that you have to listen to each song about five or six times a piece. 
And every time you listen to a song, you're going to hear something different. You're going to hear something that, the second time you hear it, you're going to hear something that you didn't catch the first time. The third time you play it, you're going to hear something you didn't hear the first or second time. And so on and so forth. Every song is like that. I mean, when you have to listen to the introduction to a song five times, that's telling you what the subsequent songs on the album are going to be like. Oh, yeah. But this was like crazy. Let me play a little more of this song. There is a falsetto. Coming up right here. Other thing I liked about this song, a lot of the songs on this album had definitive beginnings and definitive ends. A lot of songs that you hear have definitive beginnings, but they don't have definitive ends. They'll let the chorus ride out at the end of the song, and then they'll just fade out. Um, they'll 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 dim the volume down. So in other words, if they was like, I'll be your man, da, 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 they would get rid. Then they get rid of the end of the song. I'll be your man. Like she's on the radio. A lot. Yeah, you hear the radio. Most songs don't have that definitive end. I think all seven of these songs have a definitive end. Whether it's a bam, there's a last note, that was very unique. All right, moving on to the next song, ladies and gentlemen. Drunk. I like Drunk. The violin is what caught me when I first heard it. Yeah, the opening. <laughs> Had a different feel to it. The hi hat opening on three and four. That's like the staccato. This is this song right here. Let me go up a little bit. The background harmonization. Yeah, to really listen. Now that part right there, where you have those strings start coming in, they, they volume wise, they let the vocal harmonization and the instrumental from the string play at the same level. Most songs, you either feature their strings or you feature the vocals. They elevate the volume in the studio a little more to favor either one or the other. This one is played at the same rate, so it gets it a whole different feel. You're like, okay, I can hear the vocalization, I can hear the strings. Hmm, okay, that's a different type of vibe. Listen, that falsetto, oh man, this is, I gotta keep going. <laughs> Background harmonization. He's holding that note. Man. You guys want me to rate these? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'd be mad at myself. <laughs> That part right there always has a has an earth, wind, and fire type of filter. Earth, wind, and fire does that a lot of this song. They have like the harmonization at the end, then they have these little horn interludes. Look, earth, wind, and fire, they're, they're very famous. Mm -hmm. To me, they always had the best horn section of any group, period. To me, just K-pop pops opinion. <laughs> okay, first off the bat, what's the song called? Bored. What is he doing at the beginning of the song? Yawning. That's that attention to detail. You're like, okay, so I'm not gonna have a song called Bored and have firecrackers and, and, <laughs> and, and poppers and boomers going off. Okay, he's bored, so what do you hear? <sighs> okay, he's bored. 
Let me tell you. I love this song. That that feeling. Uh, 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 that whole syncopated. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Syncopated with the singing, the syncopated rhythm of the drum program. The song was so unique to me. It just had a whole different vibe to it for me. Let me tell you. This flow is getting ready to come up. It's gonna be crazy. Right right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay, listen. It just looked like they just told him, yeah, for the next X number of seconds on the album, just freestyle. This never seemed like it was planned. They just used the studio and the engineer just said, okay. <laughs> Syncopated rap. That flow is stupid. Woo. Listen, you don't even have to understand. I don't even care to know what he's saying. Just the 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 vocal inflection and just the freestyle. I can just tell it's freestyle. When he gets to that part, I'm like, oh, okay, bro. We do your thing. We do your thing, man. Man. Okay. That part right there. Bass drum is syncopated. Melody is still keeping the melody. Guys hitting that flow. Crazy. <laughs> oh, man. This was a freestyle rapper's dream song right here. Woo. I'm bored. I wasn't bored listening to that song, I tell you that much. Yes, I am. Okay. The guitar opening. I want they play the guitar. And that guitar is going to play that same melody throughout the whole song. The song kind of had like a... Like something you would hear at like a, a, a concert or a sporting event, you know? Yeah, it could be, like, yeah, could you, I, this could be the, like one of the theme songs in the for commercial for the Paris Olympic, you know, 2024, you know, I mean, could easily, it just has that feel. And the way that the background singing is, it almost gives it kind of a chorus type of feel. But it's just the members of the group singing background. Flow. He's flowing to an acoustic guitar. You think there's just, just no no percussion, no rhythm, just a guitar. It's a hype song right here. This is a great finale song to a concert. Woo. Do you hear that? One voice cutting above all those other voices and instrumental. You gotta listen to it, man. Come on over. For some reason, this is one of my favorites on the album. Now, let me tell you about this song. The first time I heard this song, I was listening very acutely, and the first 20 seconds of the song, I said, I know this song. I have heard this song somewhere before. Come to Play contains interpolations of a song by a 70s R&B group called Shalimar, composed of Howard Hewitt, Jody Watley, 
and Jeffrey Daniels. They were a trio. They have a song called Second Time Around, and it has the same guitar interlude. Not saying that that's where they got it from, but it sounds exactly, if you Google it, Shalimar, Second Time Around is the name of the song. They have that, I haven't let my wife listen to it. And she's like, that sounds like a song I know. I said, oh, listen to it, wait. I said, I'm gonna let you figure out what group it is. And she's like, oh, yeah, this sounds like a group from the 70s. I said, yeah, you, you coming on it. I just wanted to make sure that K-Pop Pops was overhearing something. Because, you know, when you listen to, you know, the hundreds of thousands of songs that I've had listened to in my lifetime, some things just start to sound the same after a while. But it's like, no, this is very distinct. I had to go back to it a little bit. And when you listen to it and Google that group, you're going to say, yeah, K-pop, <laughs> that's the song. They, they, they might not have taken it note for note, but there's a, there's a heavy R&B element from that group in there. But hey, I like it at worst. The strong R&B feel to this song. This is a feel good song to me. That horn. Crescendo. And flow. And they kept that same. And the chorus is very catchy. Young and welcome to my song. It's horns. Then the chorus. Welcome to my song. This was the feel good song right here of the album. Having a bad day? Put in song. So come to play. Name the songs. You came to play. See the end. There's no fade out. Uh oh, listen. This song right here, they had me the first one or two seconds of the song. Any song with a strong percussive opening is my song. Man, you got the number of that snare drum and, and that, the rim shots, hi hat rim shot. Love that. Gotta go back to it. I gotta, I gotta turn it up a little bit. Yeah, that's my thing. I was like, oh! This should have been come to play. <laughs> oh yeah, Swedish tempo. So you had the opening drum, then you had the piano, then you had the, the vocals come in. The whole thing is in the flow. And they keep that same opening riff. This, this song right here, had so many different elements going on to it. It was like my notes were on this song alone were like a page long. It was like, <laughs> was just every, it's like one of those songs. Every time you hear, you hear something different. You catch something and I caught a really unique thing about this song. I even pointed it out to my wife and she's like, oh, I didn't catch that, but yeah, that's true. I'm gonna point it out to you, ladies and gentlemen. But we're gonna get to the end of the song, last couple of seconds. One of the few songs on the album actually fades out. Whew. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said before, this is an album review, not an album ranking because it was impossible for me to rank this. This is one of the albums that when you put it on, you can put it on and hit repeat and let the same CD play over and over and over again. You just let it play and it just flows whatever you're doing. That's my top seven. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, oh, what can I say? Listen, New Man, this is one of my favorite albums of all time. I have favorite songs, but album-wise, B2B, New Man is my favorite album of all time. And I have just explained to you why. I have shown you why. I can't understand why they're not bigger than they are. Maybe you can help me understand. Put it in the comments and let's debate about it. Go ahead. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this review. As always, Magic Sex the channel. Like to subscribe, vote, drop your pennies in our Patreon. I'm sorry, I dropped listen, man. New man got me shook. Um, but as always, I'm the K-pop pops. I'm out. <laughs>